Well, hello everyone, here I'm with another LEGO Harry Potter 2024 review, and this one's on, on the Hogwarts Castle of Owlery. Yeah, so on the front of the box here you have the LEGO Harry Potter logos, Wizarding World logo, and same board that we've been seeing since 2021, of course, and then also a picture of everything there is, and the three minifigs included, and Recommended ages is 8 and up. Set number 76430 has 364 pieces. And on the back side, which have a back view of the Owlery and also some pictures of the set and collectible portraits times one. And, for that. and now onto the instruction booklet, of which same picture, or I mean different picture than on the front of the manual, and kind of the odd CGI rendering and such. And then the transition from plastic bags to paper bags, and then add for the builder app. And then on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. An advertisement for all 14 portrait tile pieces then. And then advertisement for both this and the Hogwarts boat set or boathouse set which I previously reviewed and how they can uh, connect to the uh, new Hogwarts expansion system for that. Yeah. And then the last building steps. For the minifigs, the first up is all new version of Harry, a witch, but now with a black uh, jacket and sweatshirt and gray sweatshirt underneath, and and also the uh, uh, later style hairpiece, and of course representing his appearance in probably Goblet of Fire, or, or maybe a uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, either one. So nice to see this that hairpiece there, and. And also still using the mid legs as well. And next, and the next, which have exclusive variant of Cho Chang, which, but now with the scarf piece in dark blue, nice to see there, and also that mini skirt in uh, sand blue, which like we've seen in the Trolls Two line, of course, and also using the uh, mid legs as well. And of course, both wielding the wand pieces as well. And then last to which is, uh, Ar is Argus Filch. Which, oh, which, which, which the uh, hair piece of which and face printing kind of similar to what the previous one had in the uh, Chamber of Secrets set in 2021. But however, this which all new variant to that. But, yeah. And then the torso printing, quite good for how it is. And also... Have holding the classic broom piece, uh, obviously. Now the back torso printing of each of them, all quite good for how they are. And then Harry's and Choke Chang's kind of the same as they've been for a while, and Argus Filch also there. So for all three of these figs in this set, I'd say this which this mini fig selection quite good for how it is, and also. Good to have some new prints for new exist for exist main existing characters, but yeah. And now on to the uh, to the Owlery itself, which as you can see from first glance, it was quite tall for how it is, especially for the uh, fifty five dollars that it is, uh, which this was quite tall for that. But and also the but also quite the same as previous Hogwarts expansion sets that there were. And so now starting from the bottom up like I always do. Is, like from this section of which just apparently a 
large corner plate and also two small ugly rock pieces. There's in one side of which just a bar piece and the uh, fern pieces in both dark green and in white to represent snow on them. Oh, which nice touch there for that. And on this one side of which kind of a bit of railing all on here of that. I wish with a, a corner plate for that or tile there and a corner plate there and a couple of uh, tooth uh, plates to represent snow on them. And this one side of which which has kind of this archway made of just regular bricks with plates for that and a couple of leaf pieces in both dark green and white. So, of course, in white, nice to use for mocks if you wanted, and also the little mouse piece, of which is probably being Peter Pettigrew or whatever. Yeah. Then the inside part of which is a little box of, of elopes owl treats. It's in classic cookie piece on there. And also a neat part of this where you can, like, swivel it and different things are around like a couple of window pieces for something and then also a couple of little uh, things there represent like a probably to be a little owl bath or something and then also a whoops littler owl piece probably be a newborn hatchling owl or whatever So a neat little feature in here. And then also another a pair of leaf pieces there. And then on the other side, which is just a side brick that holding the uh, black spider piece, probably to represent the large horde of which in the Forbidden Forest, of course. And then this upper section, which you know, couple of rounded plates representing the snow bits to it and also a little astromech droid headpiece with cones and a uh, owl piece and plain tan to be a statue of that. And then further upwards you have a lot of the uh, little tooth pieces but in uh, in uh, in light gray to represent mini windows or something and then also do have corner plates of which but also with little tooth pieces to represent like a, a back guano or I mean owl guano or whatever and also a few little uh, letters on pieces on them which represent owls bringing letters to others and all and then the far above is and this little upper section with these uh, with these uh, little lanterns and such and also these other in uh, jagged slopes with the little holder uh, kind of pieces on the sides it's always to act it as extra texture I think quite nice touch there and then a little section with a little a little thing with a little owl piece on there and a doer style tile piece on there which not sure who this character is but this which is one that came with my copy of this set but yours could be a little different but yeah and also do you have like a little cone piece in white or different kinds in white to be the snow on the top parts of them and also the main roof parts just in a darkish gray like in the uh, 2018 through 2020 a building arrangement of Hogwarts sets, but even though these which can kind of fit in with both of the buildings or Hogwarts systems, it's both the 2018 through 21 and also the uh, other later ones. But yeah, and then uh, as for the exterior, is uh, the uh, railing kind of bit here made of corner plates. Then, and then further down the which has kind of like little ledges for the owls to stand on which being the large jumper plates of course and also these other 
a corner cylinder kind of pieces going upwards and all, and also little brick bricks on the sides, and just a little bit of snot with just little tiles, and of course. And then have a few of the newer owl pieces, but in different colors, like obviously one in white to be Hedwig, and also one in brown and one in dark red, of course. And then downwards is same stuff again, or all that as you saw in the beginning. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is a, a quite good set for how it is. It's like, do you get three exclusive variants of existing minifigs, of which, which is of course always a good thing, of course. And also do you get a few owl pieces in different colors, and of course. But although Kent have, doesn't have any like a connecting point, is to other Hogwarts expansions. Well, maybe we'll find that out in the future, like like now until 2026 or so. But yeah. But again, nice to see different variants of existing figs, of course. And as for the uh, $45 that it is, I think this is kind of good for that. Like, And it also quite good and tall for that as well. And and well, uh, what else? And also nice to see some like snow detailing on them, which we barely see on much of Hogwarts expansion sets, unlike with the uh, 2020 Astronomy Tower, of course. But yeah, and also quite nice to have this part of part of Hogwarts brought out to us. But and of course, nice to have a little different kind of which maybe in the future we'll also get a. Uh, also get like, uh, like Snape's classroom, uh, and then potion room, and also chessboard room and such. But yeah, maybe this means a sign of those yet to come. But yeah, but uh, but this as is again still quite good for for how it is. But yeah, and so now if you're looking to get this set for your uh, Hogwarts uh, display and setup, definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to get this for your uh, Harry Potter set collection, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.